you see the blue jasmine girl that we had on here? That name sounds familiar. The girl, well, she had blue dress for one. I don't know if that was her uh, brand or whatever, but she was the one who was talking about how she's with a guy. He needs to have her in a nice ass whip, put her oh, in a yeah, nice ass apartment. I see that. I and see that. then if you dump her, then you continue to have to pay for that stuff for the next six to 12 months. Do you think this is normal? She's from the Bronx. She's she's of your culture. So you, you, you guys. That's what I'm saying, yeah. though. But New York girls are very different. Really? Very different. Why? Because the New York girl standards is very much is what she just said. That's right. how they think. That's just. But dudes are niggas really be doing that, though. That's that's what makes it fucked up. Right. So you got to, like you said, blame it on the niggas that's tricking and doing the dumb shit like that because they really got these bitches believing and that's cool. But as a girl growing up in New York City, you're just taught from a very young age. Like, you can You are dudes. because, listen, you Rap got music. Girls. I blame city girls. No, it was before that. That's just how New York girls are. At 16, right, it's another 16-year-old girl with her dad's a scammer and he bought her a Louis bag. And mm. now you like a bitch in school and you ain't got shit. So now you 18 and I, I need to go swipe or this or that and I'm, I'm going to go get me a bag, this and the third, and now it's a competition. Mm. So even with girls, you know, I got me a nigga with money. Oh, re- oh well, did he buy you a Patek? No, he bought me AP. A bitch, he ain't got shit. Like, that's literally like the mentality of a New York chick, for mm. real, for real. Not all of them, but the ones that's in that lifestyle. Right. So you agree, though, that if a, if a guy gives you that kind of stuff, want- that he owes you that for six to 12 months after no, you leave him? Hell that's no. Hell no. That's crazy? Hell no. That's that's wild. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. What up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay CN. Coming back with another one. And in that clip, right, you got No Jumper. Shout out to No Jumper. And that was from an interview that he did. You know, uh, in that clip, he doing an interview with Chinese Kitty, but... He was talking about an interview, another interview that he did with Blue Jasmine, which is a female. As you can see, she's pretty, she's pretty hot. If you've seen that interview, she, she nice, you know what I mean? Nice body, red bone, you know, uh, not that that matter, but you know what I mean? Just, she just an all around pretty chick. But her whole thing was that if a man, if she's with a man and he has her living a certain type of lifestyle, you know, just with money and, you know, he providing her with all these expensive things, you know, cars, jewelry, clothes, purses, whatever the case may be. Blue Jasmine feels as if he should continue to fund that after the relationship, meaning he should continue to fund her lifestyle, you know, he should continue to supply her with the things that he's been supplying her with, with the money, the lifestyle, all of that shit, even after the breakup. You know, and I don't know what's more crazy. The fact that you actually have dudes out here that that actually do it or the fact that females would really expect that after the fucking relationship is over. I don't know what's more absurd. You know, who's who's to blame for this? You know, and we got to take responsibility for it as men, you know, because that's 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 heavy sipping right there. That's heavy heavy sipping. I don't care if it's y'all oh, yeah, y'all going y'all going to use the Wayne line that ain't tricking if you got it. Look at this. Look at Look at, look at how far this shit has gotten with these females. You know, it ain't just Blue Jasmine or City Girls that think like this. It's tons of women with the same ideology that they just owe the world plus some. Even post-breakup. That just because... That's like you having an ex-girlfriend, right? You with a girl, y'all break up. You know, but while y'all was together... You know, you was you was buying her all of these things. You know, you was doing this, you was doing that. But after the breakup, this bitch could have cheated on you and everything. That even after the breakup, whatever reason that y'all broke up for, the point is that y'all broke up, that you should still be supplying her with money and the lifestyle that you did while y'all was together. You know how crazy that fucking sounds? You gotta be listen. 
That's some crazy shit. But it's it, you know what? Dude, who 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 takes the blame for this? You know what I'm saying? For this way of thinking. Because there's no way that you can be serious. But that bitch was dead ass serious. She was dead ass. And it ain't no pussy. It ain't that it ain't listen, ain't no good pussy that good to make a motherfucker continue to fund the lifestyle that he supplied you with after the fucking breakup. Like what do you think? Like 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 what do you think is in your pussy? Like the fountain of youth? Like bitch, hold up, wait. Did that what did that pussy do for me besides give me a nut? Let's answer that because y'all women act like y'all pussy is some of the purest elixir that will bring youth. You know what I mean? That them brought wealth. None of that. None of that. The pussy has zero value. Just like it. it listen, the pussy ain't even worth the nut that we give y'all. We better off holding it in. Is that? It's better off that we hold in the energy for ourselves so we could tighten up on areas in our life and be connected with the most high than to just give it to you it's more danger in us releasing it in you and being stuck with you it's more dangerous to release your energy right because one you releasing your energy and, and you reading of your life force and all of the vitamins that you need to survive right then two you 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 possibly catching something from these scallywags, these bras, these thoughts, these bitches, these hoes, you possibly catching something from them. And on top of that, the 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 possibility of knocking the bitch up and procreating. That is the scariest shit in the world. Could you imagine getting a bitch like that pregnant? Which a lot of us do, damn. But could you imagine getting a bitch like that pregnant? Because no matter if you think how Blue Jasmine thinking, like, which is like, yo, you know, you started me with this lifestyle. You should supply it to me even after we broke up. Or the chicks that just flat out, flat out pull a, a Britney Renner and just lock a nigga in so then he could continue to fund her lifestyle that way. They, they actually one in the same. Or you just got these chicks that's just, yeah, just trapping just like Britney. It's one in the same. Blue Jasmine just saying, like, look, you know what I mean? Without even trapping, like, look, you know what? You got me started with this lifestyle. You should you should continue to fund it for six to 12 months until I can get on my feet. Like, bitch, what you think this is, uh, motherfucking? Like, what, 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 what part of the game is that? Like I said, ain't no pussy good enough in the world to make a motherfucker or make, make a real man uh, continue to do that shit. But you do have suckers. You do have suckers out here, you know what I mean? But it's just crazy, man. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Am I tripping? Nah, I know I ain't tripping. I know I ain't tripping. It's just crazy that you have women that think like this, even regardless of the life, even, even minus, who cares? You know what I'm saying? When you with a chick, it's your business at the end of the day. I say that. When you with a chick, that's your business, how you choose to treat her and what you choose to spoil her with. That's your business. I say that. That is your business. But for, for a bitch to think that you are obligated to still fund that lifestyle, you got to be batshit crazy up here. You got to be fucked up mentally to think that. Like Chinese Kitty say, you know, you really do have women in New York that just, that's in that lifestyle that, you know, that expect that because they in that lifestyle. You know what I mean? Okay. You know what I'm saying? She like, yo, it's New York women. Okay. All right. You know, I'm sure it's women like that in LA too, all over the place. You know what I'm saying? You could use that as an excuse. I guess if that's, if, if that's how they are, then I guess that's just how they are. She's saying all, ain't, all women ain't like that. And I, and I believe that. I salute that. She knows that all women ain't like that. And she said herself that she is not like that. She feels if the relationship is done, then it should be done all around. It's done. It's completely done. You cut off. That's it. But for a broad like Blue Jasmine to believe that you still should be obligated to support her lifestyle because 
that's what you was doing while y'all was together is fucking batshit crazy. That's why y'all got to watch out who the fuck y'all dealing with out here. These bitches got no morals these days. And, 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 and fuck the game. If that's just the game, that's the lifestyle that they in, I get it. But fuck that shit too. What about, what about her having the decency to understand that if it's over, then it's over. What about that part? What about that part? What human being gonna gonna still carry herself in that manner to to get something for nothing? She is gonna be by herself. I, see, I can't even say that. I can't even I can't even confirm that with how these niggas is these days. It's always somebody. She gonna it's it's always somebody. So I can't even I can't even say she gonna be by herself for a long time. Nah, because she because she a bad chick. And you're going to have a bunch of rich, a rich simps that's going to continue to pay her. But when she hit that wall, it's going to be hell to pay. I'm going to say that. Now I'll leave it at that. When she hit that wall and them looks start to deteriorate, them wrinkles come, them titties drop. Look up Blue Jasmine. She nice. You know what I'm saying? She going to start getting them surgeries to try to keep herself up. I guarantee it. That fountain of youth gonna be gone. She gonna hit that wall and she gonna have to repent. Believe that. And that's my word. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Shit crazy. The story been out, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the interview on Blue Jumper with, with this Chinese kitty chick, I thought that was a dope interview. And it was something, it was good to hear from another woman's perspective. So check that out. Shout out to, the, to, to No Jumper. You know what I mean? Uh... Blue Jasmine, you know, for her crazy ass take on the situation. That shit was crazy. You know what I mean? And Chinese Kitty, man. My name Jason and Sante. I'll holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. All day. I'ma keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. Uh, I'm in here to do my job, yeah, that's all day. That's all day. What I do ain't day. a facade, this is all J. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. I'ma keep putting in work, yeah, that's all day. I'm in here.